1. Education has been formally structured for a very long time and the routines are memorized even with closed eyes. Then overnight, everything has changed. We are not allowed to go to school. We are forced to stay at home. COVID-19 has enveloped our freedom. Recognition and graduation rights are frozen. We didn't see it coming and no one is prepared. Life has been difficult and the situation has become worse. Yet, it has to continue. Nothing could come between the Filipinos and education, especially the Katiponeros. Behold, what you are about to witness are the best practices and solutions to the challenges and issues that Katipunan Central School and SPED Center has faced, taken, and overcame. Katipunan Central School and SPED Center, in one with the Department of Education, continued to uphold quality education, embracing the new normal in the school year 2020-2021. Things are never easy. But we have to take the challenge and solve the issues regarding the implementation of education in the current school year. Enrollment has begun through pick and drop. Modular distance learning is voted to be the mode of learning. The opening of the school year fast approach, so we have to make modules. We collaborated along with the other teachers in the district and made unified supplementary modules to be used in the whole district. Challenge is, there are at least 15 pages in a module, and there are 8 subjects in a grade level, and there are at least 25 pupils in a class, plus there are 4 sections in a grade level. It would need much paper and ink, but we have no equipment and capability to reproduce such number of modules. Gladly, when the school days have finally begun, modules from the region are distributed but these are only for grades 3 to 6. Grade 2 down to kindergarten have to reproduce their own made modules. We express our sentiments to the PTA and kind-hearted stakeholders and alumni contribute amounts to provide our wish for printing needs, like one big heavy-duty printer and 400 reams of bond paper, while the LGU gave another one unit for the reproduction of modules and 12 radio sets for radio broadcasting instructions to the learners. In return, we gave them certificates of appreciation and recognition for playing a big role in this difficult time. We also purchased additional 8 colored printers from the MOOE for the copies of the modules in lower grades since most of the pages need colored prints. These loving units also donate sacks of rice and goods that we distribute along with the modules to aid identified parents who are forced to suspend work because they assist their children in their studies. Those who have no time to come are home visited. At last, the modules are reproduced and we start to distribute. Parents are called through radio broadcasting, distribution of pamphlets, posting of banners in the school gate, and via Facebook post. They come during the orientation and are oriented about the health protocols in getting and returning the modules. Not only the reproduction of modules is a problem, but also the health risk of the teachers and the parents. All are anxious about the infection. With the aid of city savings, the school is able to purchase face masks, face shields, and alcohol to be used by the teachers. Parents are also reminded to use and wear such during the getting and returning of modules. There is soap and water allotted to the visitors in the entrance. There is also a thermal scanner and automated alcohol dispenser to monitor the body temperature of every individual that comes into the school. Many thought that this new normal is in favor to the learners because they get to answer the modules without restrictions and their parents won't allow mistakes in the answers before passing it to the teachers. But this thought has forgotten something that this new normal has revealed. There are illiterate parents who could not assist their children, and there are also working parents who have no time to teach their kids. 
and used to the convenience during the normal days because they have somewhere to drop off their children with teachers to watch over. Katipunan Central School and SPED Center initiates home visitation to those parents who could not make time in getting the modules. They also home visit those pupils whose parents are not capable of teaching their children to discuss to them the lessons. Leading teachers also home visit every week to assess how far their learners have gone in reading. Those who can afford the video calls are assessed by online and others are assessed through phone calls. Updates are also done via messenger if text messaging is not possible and they would tap those who have no way of connecting. Some reading teachers conduct remediation and sounds to their parents face to face and are taught the basics in reading so they could extend these basics to their children at home. Learners with difficulty in acquiring knowledge teachers also make their own modules, simplifying activities in the grade level competencies. Teachers report to school alternatively two teams composing of 8 to 10 persons per day during Tuesdays to Thursdays, while all of them come to school every Mondays and Fridays to distribute and retrieve modules while they home visit during other days if not working at home. Every Monday, we never forget to conduct kumustahan from what each teacher heard from parents about problems and challenges in answering the modules. And then, we make agreements and solutions to these problems. The routine has been successfully done in the first quarter with average mastery level in the learner's part. To continue professional development, the school conduct learning action style session by team. There is demonstration teaching and post-demo focusing to most essential learning competencies with at least 10 audience with face mask and social distancing. Jose Rizal Memorial State University Katipunan Campus also provide free load to those who attend webinars in enhancing computer literacy. Meanwhile, learning support aids also cluster learners for tutorials, scheduling them individually to focus on the latter's difficulty. It is done in Bornegan Church, Purok, and House compounds. In the second and third quarter, Teachers make and distribute learners' activity sheet supplements and utilize books for the delayed release of modules from the region. It has been over half of the school year since the new normal education has begun. However we made it, possibility and positivity has taken place. In the future, we believe that we could make it amidst the challenges if we carry in our hearts the desire to serve as a torch to light the path of education. Virus is just virus. We are Filipinos. We are Tatipo.